Mail time! What's up guys, it's Danny, and it is that fun time of the week where I get to unbox all of the stuff that has been accumulating at my doorstep and make sure that all of the crap I bought is accounted for. Very important. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for lots more LEGO Star Wars news, building reviews, and haul videos like this one. Number one, I bought this off of eBay for about $53, and it is a used Gungan sub. Put tape over the actual seal. I mean, I have to make sure that it's accounted for. Oh, wow, it even... <laughs> Look at this instruction manual. Oh, check out this. So there are the minifigures, solid little selection here. And check this thing out. This is so cool. Look at the chompers on that thing. That is so cool that it still comes with the cardboard box insert. And next up, since you probably already saw it, is the Republic Frigate, which I was able to get on Facebook Marketplace, but then they resealed it with some scotch tape. Figures. I'll just skip everything else. All I care about is these figures. So here was the bundle, it also came with the Commando Battle Pack, and this one's also used, but all the figures were in great condition, so for $3.75 getting both of these used but in good condition I thought was a fair deal. I've been waiting to buy this, and uh, this was the deal. So here is the figure I'm most excited for. This is Commander Wolf, and he has been evading my attention for over a year now because I could not put forth a $150 plus amount for this figure without buying the set outright, and I finally did it. So what makes this figure really cool, he does have a different helmet than the other Wolfpack Troopers, which I'll show you in just a second, but his eye is actually scratched due to previous injuries in the Clone Wars, and he does come with the comma piece. He also comes with the shoulder pauldron, both in that black plastic, and the DC-17 blasters. Now the other wolf pack trooper here you can see has more of like a wolf design on the helmet, which I would have thought that the commander would have had, but no, these are actually the wolf pack trooper helmets and they have the same torso and leg print as commander wolf. You can see it's also just a generic clone face underneath, but you'd be surprised how much these go for too. I think upwards of $80 on these guys. Now one of the three Jedi included here is Quinlan Boss, who's only in one other set, which is the clone turbo tank, which also comes with Luminara. And this is a very different version. He has much bushier hair. Here's the back print on this figure, but now I have both Quinlan Vosses and I'm pretty happy about it because his name was mentioned in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show and I just really hope we get to see him in live action. The other interesting looking Jedi here is Eve Koth and we don't really see this guy too much. He has a very short amount of screen time in uh, episode three. So here he is up close front and back. This head mold though is amazing. He is a Zebrak and there you can see his face print a little bit better. Obviously just printed on the front, but uh, really, really cool headpiece. Now the last figure in this set is Clone Wars Yoda. Not as exciting, he's definitely a lot more common, but still a good figure to have in the set nonetheless. ka -chow. So yeah, I think I already have like $300 worth of figures right here, let alone the actual sets themselves. Um, so the stickers on this used set haven't even been applied yet. Those are usually the first thing to get worn and used and they're usually not applied straight. So huge win, I forgot that. Like this makes it that much better. This one opens up, this one opens to the side. Go figure. Look how shiny this box is. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's so shiny and glossy. For my standards, I can, I can handle a few creases, not bad. What doesn't meet my standards is the way that this guy boxed a $300 Lego set. I opened it and what do I see? Just threw it straight into the box and I'll pull a few pieces out and see if you can guess what the ship is. Did you guess it? <laughs> It is none other than the Republic Venator with Palpatine, a pilot, a gunner, and a royal guard. Here's that creepy Chancellor Palpatine up close in those terribly red robes and the same shoulder pauldron as the ARC troopers. His eyes are just so creepy. Here is this clone pilot right here. You can see no leg printing, so it's before 2010. And also the set includes a clone gunner, very similar, but they have the gray arms and then that chest piece. Of course, the gunner pilot helmet. And his eyes actually like look off to the left a little bit. I noticed that some of the clone faces are straight and some of their eyes are a little bit like printed off to the left. So there's a comparison for the guy who has eyes that are like normal and his eyes which are like looking off to the side. And lastly in the set you get two of these Coruscant guards and apparently they just have black heads underneath but these guys are really cool and I remember them the most during the episodes with Cad Bane so nice to have these in there too. Here's that ARC trooper again like the same shoulder pauldron as uh, Chancellor Palpatine was wearing. He also comes with the waist cape and they have maroon 
visors and they also have the antennas. I kind of like the visors more. Here's the clone face print underneath. I honestly love this clone so much, more than some of the other legions. I think he's a little bit underrated, but we'll see how he goes up in value in the future. And of course, the last clone of the lot here is the ARF Trooper and his helmet is so dope. Not only the shape of it, but the printing on there is really good. Pretty standard clone torso, but with the maroon arms and then just white legs on this. So another fabulous figure to add to the clone army. So yeah, which one do you guys like better? The Venator or the Republic Frigate? Because I think I'm more excited about building the actual Republic Frigate. And I like the figures in that set way more, but bro, how can you be a Clone Wars fan and not have a Venator? So I had to get one. Clear. Okay, finally got my pre-order from Amazon, the ATTE, which the timing of sucked because I wanted to give this away during my Whatnot stream and it didn't arrive yet. I tried to buy one on Kohl's, that got canceled. But if you haven't used Whatnot yet, feel free to use my code in the description below. It'll give you $15 that you can spend on the app for anything, probably Lego, right? And it also gives me a referral bonus, so like, totally do it. Now the last big box here was also an eBay purchase that also arrived a little late. I was hoping to get this one for my last stream and this one is going to be from Rogue One. I'll give you three seconds to guess. It is Krennix Peanuts. Brand new sealed in box Krennix shuttle. It always smells like people's laundry detergent. <laughs> and the last bits of mail here are mostly from Bricklink. However, I did get one package from Polybag Pat. So shout out to him for selling me some poly bags to start my poly bag collection. I have the Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo on Hoth, the Clone Lieutenant, Stormtrooper Sergeant, Finn, the First Order General, C-3PO with the red arm, the First Order Stormtrooper, an A-Wing pilot, the Kessel Mine Worker, Mud Solo, Scarif Trooper, and R3M2. Yeah! This is from uh, Pike's Brick Shop. And I had to order a bunch of replacement parts because I got a large bulk order and it was missing a lot of stuff. It's gonna be kind of like a treasure hunt trying to source some of these parts. Um, and I've got all my missing pieces there. So um, that was a really big bag for just this. This right here was like $100. Now the treasure hunt begins. Let's take all of this stuff downstairs. Welcome to the mess. No, it's not that messy. Look, I cleared off this entire table here. It was covered in stuff. So I just put that stuff on the floor, but it doesn't even end there. I finally got all of these sets washed. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. <laughs> so much stuff to part out. One of the figures that I got in the bulk lot looked like Sam Wessel, but what is this face? Fortunately though, I was able to reorder Zam Wessel's face. It only cost like two bucks to get the right head. And now I have an $80 figure. Booyah. I also had this Sebulba that needed a new leg. Let's pop that bad boy on there. I also had a super battle droid that didn't have any legs because those clips break. So I got a replacement for that. Also got these OG Tusken Raiders, but as you can see, the face print is just deplorable. So I actually got a new head for these guys. I got two of them, so boom. He's not as actually as bad as I thought, but this one's still better, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. So we have like new Tusken Raiders now. And then I had four of these guys, but no heads. I even have the helmets. So I went ahead and bought a couple of more replacement heads so that I can finish these guys out. Now we can add these to the plate. So I was able to get about 10 more figures added to the plate. And I was also able to replace all of the missing pieces here on the pirate tank. Um, these little guns here on the side. I was missing some of these brown pieces. It's actually pretty neat. If you put the guy right in the middle there, this like closes up and then you can like, boom, there he is. By the time you see this, the stuff will probably all be sold. But in the case that it doesn't sell on my whatnot auction, I'll be selling it again next Tuesday. So second chances. Now I am officially ready for the auction. Booyah. A few moments later. <sighs> Just finished the whatnot auction. That was quite a blast. Here is the aftermath. This is how I like to organize my stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like 
really busy. Like you saw all the sticky notes up here. I had that so I could just pull them off quick. That worked really well for me. I've had like a two hour auction all three times so far. But like, look at this, dang, 190 bookmarks. And then look at that follower count. If you haven't used Whatnot yet, feel free to use my link in the description below to get $15 off your first Whatnot purchase and give me a follow because we do some fun stuff over here. Coming to, oh my God, it comes out next week. So my next one's gonna be on Tuesday the 20th and then Andor premieres that next morning. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be staying up all night because it's three episodes. They're gonna be like 35, 40 minute run times. So that means I'm gonna be staying up until three to watch the first episode. I'll be up until like 6 a.m. the next day. <laughs> so that's actually not that bad. It's only like three more hours than when I normally go to bed. So it should be, should, be, should be fun. If you guys join the Whatnot stream, thanks so much for joining. This is gonna be a lot of work. <laughs>